Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Trinkle. And my final movie review today is The Express, The Ernie Davis Story. It was released on October 10th, 2008. It is a bio sports movie. Um, and it's the true story of the running back Ernie Davis. It has a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb, a 61% on Rotten Tomatoes, a 90% on Google, on a $40 million budget, it made $9.8 million at the box office. It was directed by Gary Flitter and written by Charles Levitt. And it stars Rob Brown, Dennis Quaid, Omar Benson Miller, Charles S. Dutton, and Chadwick Boseman. And this is the true story of the running back, Ernie Davis, um, who played for Syracuse University. And uh, in 1959, led them to the school's only national championship. In 1960, he led them to a Cotton Bowl win um, over the University of Texas. Uh, but long before that, and the movie takes place when he's just a child. Uh, him and his cousin are collecting bottles. They run into a whole bunch of white kids on the tracks and they are threatening to hurt them and take their bottles. His cousin ends up jumping on the train that goes by. He stands his ground. He ends up running away from them and getting away with the bottles. And we see how uh, his potential as an NFL player is going to be because of his speed and the way he moves. Um, this movie is freaking fantastic. I love true stories, especially um, when it, I, well, I just love true stories, period. Uh, whether it's about history, uh, football, baseball, doesn't matter. I love this movie. Uh, Rob Brown, who portrays Ernie Davis, does a hell of a job. Um, uh, Rob, um, Ernie Davis ends up taking the place of Hall of Famer Jim Brown. Uh, who was the running back for Syracuse, um, who ended up helping recruit Ernie to Syracuse. Uh, Ernie ends up wearing number 44, which was Jim Brown's number. Uh, he ends up thriving as well. Um, and this movie is basically about not only his life, but he becomes the first um, black man to win the Heisman Trophy. And it's phenomenal. I, I, I love, love that. I, I love this, this true story. Um, but a lot of times with these true stories, there's not always a happy ending. And uh, yeah, this, this was a tearjerker um, towards the end. And uh, this is just a great movie. If you love true stories, um, and if you, if you're just about history, whether it's um, when it comes to wars or presidents or sports, whatever the case may be, you'll definitely love this movie. I can't believe it has a 61% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Chadwick Boseman. Now, Syracuse in the uh, mid-1950s through um, the 1960s, they had a trio of running backs who, well, the second uh, running back, we'll talk about in a second, but all three of them went on to be drafted, and two of them, the first and third, went on to have great careers in the NFL. Unfortunately, uh, with Ernie, he never played it down in the NFL. Um, and it, it's sad, but when you watch the movie, you'll find out why. But I highly recommend you check this movie out. Um, it is a great look of um, what people had to go through and how successful they could be if they put their mind to it and don't take no crap from nobody. Um, but there's a game uh, in this movie where it is really bad uh, what they have to go through just to play the game. And it's a sad day for this country uh, during this time. But uh, fortunately, we've gotten better from that time. But 
we're still not 100% correct. Uh, racism uh, still exists, but not nearly as bad as it was, but still. Uh, these guys went through hell to play the game they loved. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud and happy to say that um, I watched this movie. I learned a lot about Ernie Davis, who I really didn't know nothing about. Uh, I knew about Jim Brown, but now I know uh, about Ernie Davis and his tremendous courage and great story. Um, and I also learned about Floyd Little, who was portrayed by Chadwick Boseman, who was recruited um, not only by Ben, but by uh, Ernie to go play football at Syracuse. But uh, he had already committed to Notre Dame. So can those guys, can Ernie change his mind? You don't have to watch the movie and find out, but yeah, it's it's just a great time, a great movie, and uh, I highly recommend. Like I said, you check it out. Uh, with that, I'm going to give the Express, uh, the Ernie Davis story, a ten out of ten and two thumbs up. So definitely check this movie out. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell notification. If you like this, hit that like button. But I thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow and Sunday for some more horror movie reviews. I have six movies I'm going to be watching. Three tomorrow and three on Sunday. So look forward to those. And as always on Tuesdays, that's when I do my new movie reviews for 2019. Um, unless I have company here, they will be done on Tuesdays. If not, they'll be done the following day. But thank you for watching and check.